Good morning. It is Miss Olivera. I am back. I am back. I am back, 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 back. Okay, boys and girls. So we are going to continue. We are week six. Oh, we are week six. So week six, day two of our read out louds. And look at this book I have. I have Dog versus Cat by Chris Gall. So let's get started. I'm so excited. Okay. Dog versus cat. How many of you all have a dog? Me, 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 me. I do, I do. How many of you have a cat? I don't have a cat, but I have a dog. Okay, let's get started. So dog versus cat. Oh boy, to me it looks like they're going to be <clears throat> fighting. Okay, it says, one day a man named Mr. Button went to the animal shelter to pick out a friendly looking dog. So there he is. Hmm, what dog should I get? What dog should I get? Then he brought the dog home. Woof, woof. Oh man, he is excited. Across the town, on that very same day, Mrs. Button, I think that's his wife, she went to the pet store and she bought a smart looking meow, a cat. <gasps> then she brought the cat home. Oh my goodness, the cat looks so serious. It says, are we there yet? The cat doesn't seem very happy, boys and girls. However, the buttons had only one room for their pets. They would have to share. This could have been a dangerous situation. But dog and cat, they wanted to be very grown up. So dog says, hello. Cat says, greetings. And so dog and cat, they moved in together. Oh, that's good. They were being friendly. Dog, he quickly arranged one side of his room. And then cat did the other side of the room. Oh my goodness, do you wanna see? Okay, so look at dog's room, boys and girls. How do you see dog's room? It is a mess. And then look at cat's room. It is so clean. Is your room like dog's or is your room like cat's room? Hmm. So let's see what happens. Dog gave cat a warm greeting but cat didn't like showers. Ew, because dog went. <laughs> and then cat offered dog a mouse warming present. Oh no, chocolate covered mice. And dog says, yuck. And then dog showed cat how to chase a tail. You've got to be kidding me. Because cats don't like to chase tails, but dogs do. And then Cat showed Dog how to curl up with a good book. <gasps> I like that. Oh, no. Dog said, boring. Their habits were very different. Dog liked to keep in touch with his friends all day long. Dog is on his phone talking to his friends. Cat liked to play games all night long. Your turn. But Dog wants to sleep. There were more problems. Dog was always <laughs> sniffing everything. Cat is like, please stop. Just stop. Yow! Cat would claw anything that moved. And then there was the litter box issue. Why can't you go outside like regular pets? I have indoor privileges. That was when they decided that they have to mark their territories. They say, this is my spot, and this is my spot, and this is my spot. But neither dog nor cat, none of them were satisfied. So that means they were not happy. So one of them had to go. Who do you think went, boys and girls? Look, look, at, look at this. I'm going to show you the picture. Look at that. How do you see the room? There's so many things everywhere. 
You have cat's room, side of the room. You have dog's side of the room. One is clean, the other is not clean. And then Cat knew that dog had a very good nose. So Cat made sure to maintain horrible garlic breath. Ew. And Cat goes, mmm, so good. And then Dog, he rubbed some party balloons on the rug and then stuck them onto Cat. So Cat's like, mmm. And then Cat popped them with sharp claws, nearly giving Dog a heart attack. Then Cat filled Dog's water bowl, ew, with hairballs, look, gross, so the dog has to eat that? That wasn't nice. Dog poured the water over Cat's head during nap time. It was too much to take. Oh no, look, there's Dog. Boys and girls, they're not being nice to each other. Each pet was determined to get the other one in trouble. Cat used a silent dog whistle to make dog howl, howl in the middle of the night. Here we go. Bee. Dog spread catnip over Miss Button's nice pillows so that cat could go crazy. That was when the buttons gave dog and cat a time out. Oh no, look what cat did, boys and girls. Since they could agree, on nothing else, dog and cat decided to build a wall to separate their room. <gasps> so they built a wall. Do you see? It says, you missed a spot. No, I didn't. My goodness. Look, the wall that they're building. After they were finished, the room became very quiet. Too quiet. Soon, dog began to remember all the good times they had together. Oh, because they became quiet. They weren't used to it being quiet, boys and girls. They were used to always fighting and it being loud. So now it was quiet because of the what? Because of the wall. Cat began to remember all the fun times. Oh, so they did have fun times too. Now they're getting sad because it's too quiet. They began to miss each other. So Cat, she sent over a peace offering. So she cat flew this little paper airplane and then dog replied back and it says hello again you beat me to it they sent each other out to solve the problem in different ways oh so now they're trying to say I'm sorry so then one day dog and cat they heard a strange oh howling sound outside their door. Squawk! Run! Eee! Another pet? They could not believe that Mr. and Mrs. Button would wish for a pet any better than a dog or a cat. What could it be? Dog was thinking. Do you see how he's thinking? He hoped it wasn't a porcupine. And then Cat hoped it wasn't an an elephant. Dog and cat were afraid. They agreed that something had to be done to keep the creature out of their room. Oh my goodness, I wonder what it is. So then cat drew up all the plans to block the door. So they blocked the door. Dog tore down their wall and used the pieces. But they forgot that the door opened into the hallway. Then Mr. and Mrs. Button brought in the cage. Oh, here's the cage. What could it be, boys and girls? Hmm. Cat, cat and dog are worried. They don't know what it is. Oh, do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? It was the most terrifying creature dog and cat had ever seen. Do you want to see? Okay, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Are you ready? Close your eyes. And when I count to three, you open them, okay? One, two, and three. It was a baby. 
and it had moved into their bedroom. The creature, it never stopped screeching, and it certainly, it needed a litter box. So dog and cat, they decided to move out. They say, oh, the smell, oh my goodness. So they look outside, hmm, but they knew of only one other available room. Look, boys and girls, this baby, oh my goodness, it took over their room. The circumference equals the sum of the adjacent, adjacent sites. I'm sorry, but all I'm hearing is a bunch of meows. <laughs> Cat drew up the plans and dog hammered nails and lifted the heavy things. What do you think they are building? And when they were done, they shared a pitcher of cold lemonade. <gasps> well done, sir. Indeed. Oh, my goodness. Look what they drew. That looks super duper cool. I like that. I really look like it's their pool and a basketball court. Oh, no. But look what's over here. They do not see the baby. And what is that? I have outdoor privileges. Ew. What did dog do? He pooped outside. Because remember, dogs do poop and pee outside. <gasps> the end. Yee, that was the end of our story. Very good. So it says one. It says one dog, one cat, our room. Or one room. One big problem. Very good. So they did solve their problem, but my goodness, they could never get along. But I'm glad they were able to come together. Okay, boys and girls, that is the end of our story. I hope you enjoyed today's Wednesday Read Out Loud. So let me give you the information for the AR. The quiz number is 166695, and it is a book level 2.6. I hope you enjoyed it, boys and girls. Don't forget to keep watching my videos. I hope you are enjoying them. And I hope you have an amazing Wednesday. An amazing Wednesday. Bye, boys and girls.